Hey, this is Adrian from SoundSlice, and I'd like to show you our brand new sheet music player. Let me just press play. So you get the idea. The, the music is perfectly synced, perfectly aligned with the sheet music. You've got standard notation, you've got the tab that we've always had on SoundSlice, You've got guitar chord shapes here up top. So this is a really great way of learning a song because it gives you this feedback loop of exactly what you're supposed to play. Here are the notes that you're supposed to play and the uh, exactly what it should sound like. So uh, let me just walk you through what you can do with this. You can, of course, go to any section of the song by clicking. If there's a part that you really like that you want to uh, focus in on to learn, you can hold down and loop it. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Uh, you can also go down here and change the speed without changing the pitch. And that, of course, works with looping. You can change a loop in real time. And the looping actually snaps to notes so that you have a perfect rhythmic loop. Of course, we, we love uh, real, real audio here at SoundSlice, so we encourage you to listen to actual audio, but if you want a synthetic player, you can click here for synthetic. And you hear a, a synthetic version that's actually generated on the fly from sound samples based on the notation. Uh, here we have settings, and, and, and notice when I clicked settings, the whole notation actually got redrawn. So what we have here is a, an entire sheet music rendering system built inside the browser in JavaScript and HTML5. So it knows uh, all the rules of sheet music and, and, and how to arrange this stuff. So let me just resize a window, for example, and you'll see that it's, it's recalculating how much space it should devote to every note, and then at some point that there's not enough room for four bars, so it just goes down to three bars, and you can see it sort of tightens the note, the space between the notes, and then and uh, renders the music. So you can also, uh, because we have rendering built in the browser, there's several advantages to that. One is that it, it, it flows exactly to your screen size, whether you're on an iPad, and even an iPhone, that the crazy thing works on an iPhone, or a huge, huge, gigantic monitor. You can also uh, decrease the size, and of course everything still works even at that tiny size, even with the, the looping and the, the snapping to notes. Uh, you can make it bigger in case you're visually impaired and need to, needs uh, the, the notes to be bigger. You can also increase the space between notes horizontally. Uh, some beginners might like that feature. Uh, and then you can turn off the staff, if, if like me, you can't read music, uh, or you can turn off the tab if you don't care about tab and you're more of a classically trained person. So that's a quick overview of the new sound slice.